We are going to have 20 classroom tests, slow and steady climb to build confidence. So it starts on 13th October in classroom and online it starts on 6th October, right? First two tests are going to be with four week gap, 13th October to 10th November. 10th November to 8th December. Next three tests are going to be two weeks gap. 8th December to 20 to 2nd December, 22nd December to 5th January, and 5th January to 19th January. Two weeks gap. And after that, it would be weekly, right? After that, one week gap. And more importantly, we are doing 11th first and then 12th. So all these black ones are 11th, 13th October, 10th November, 8th December, 5th January. In between, we have done one 12th. And after that, the orange ones are all 12th, right? So what we have done is, understand this. Initially, we are doing tests by breaking up each of 11th and 12th in four four parts. Part one of four, part two of four, part 3 of 4, part 4 of 4. So you'll see here, 13th October, part 1 of 4. Then uh, second part of 11. Then third part of 11. Then fourth part of 11. In between, we do one part of 12th as well on 22nd December. But after that, we will do second part on 2nd February, then 9th February, and fourth part on 23rd February. Then 19th and 26th, second half, we have do, uh, broken up 11th into one part 11, and then second part 11. So half 11th, half 11, and then this is full 11th on 16th Feb. This is full 12th on 16th March, and after that, we spring one up full syllabus test, right? Good evening students. A lot of you had reached out to me telling me that sir, the test series that you have is wonderful but our syllabus is not matching to your schedule. We are droppers. We started with class 11th. We haven't even finished class 11th and your syllabus is going 11, 12th, 11, 12th, 11, 12th. I acknowledge. So what I've figured out is for dropper students, a test series schedule in which we do first class 11th and then we do class 12th is much better then 11, 12th, 11, 12th, 11, 12th. That is much better for students who are in class 12th right now, who are not droppers and who are going to write NEED 2025 in first attempt. So in this video, I'm going to give you a detailed explanation of what this new test series, which we are calling Ascend, in which we will go slow and steady and slowly build up our confidence in terms of writing tests, in terms of revising, in terms of getting better and better for NEET exam. So first of all, what I want to tell you is eight months are remaining in NEET 2025. It is very, very important that we understand that final climb starts today, but we need a solid plan for it. We absolutely need a solid plan for it. Eight months is a significant time. You have to organize your preparation. Make sure there is focus on syllabus completion. We are practicing questions and regularly writing tests. So first thing, target syllabus completion by Feb end. This is my recommendation. Target syllabus completion by Feb end. If you are going faster, you are able to finish it earlier than Feb end, good. But if you are not going faster, make sure try and finish by Feb end. It is not too late, first of all. Second thing is, syllabus completion means for every chapter you are going to do theory, you are going to do MCQ practice. Syllabus completion does not mean I will do all the theory right now, I will practice MCQs later. No. Physics, Chemistry, Bio. Physics, you have 28 chapters. Chemistry, you have 21 chapters. Bio, you have 32 chapters. For each of these chapters, 81 chapters, you have to do theory and then MCQ practice and regular revision has to happen. It cannot happen that you keep studying and keep forgetting as you move forward. Regularly, every day, you also have to give time for revising. Right? Now, understand this. You have to figure out today how you are going to Freeze your timetable. How do you do that? From now till NEET exam, eight months is equal to 34 weeks, right? We are targeting finishing by Feb end. So that means we have 26 weeks till Feb end, correct? Now let's say you have 65 chapters remaining. You're a dropper, you have 65 chapters remaining, okay? Most of the students who started in 11th are in class 12th they would have kind of reached close to completing that syllabus. But those who are droppers who started properly preparing after finishing NEET exam this year, 65 chapters remaining, 26 weeks, which means 2.5 chapters to complete every two weeks. Okay? This means five chapters every two weeks. Correct? So in first two week window, it could be one physics, two chemistry, two bio. Next set of two weeks, it can be two physics, two chemistry, one bio. But you have to maintain this space 
so that you finish your syllabus by February. That is very important. The other thing which is important is try and understand. You need not be fearful. You should not worry about competition. What other people are doing, how fast they are going, where they have reached. A lot of people are just saying things to scare other people. You need not be scared. Are you capable? 100% you are capable, but you have to organize your studies. You have to figure out how to study on a regular basis from now till lead exam. Am I intelligent? This also doesn't matter. What matters is you work hard and you will become intelligent. You work hard, you will become intelligent. So guys, let's just figure out how to organize ourselves. So let's again go to the timetable thing, right? So first of all, follow the schedule of your coaching. Don't try and follow any other schedule. Follow the schedule of your coaching in the sequence in which they are completing chapters. And what you have to make sure every day is 10 to 12 hours of study, 7 hours of sleep, 2 hours of food, bathroom, toilet. To do this 2 hours of non-study time to maintain your mental and physical health. Otherwise you will get tired. You will study for 16, 17 hours one day and then you will not feel like studying for next 3 days. You have to study consistently every day 10 to 12 hours, sleep properly, eat properly remain healthy and then this 10 to 12 hours 4 to 6 hours of theory video lectures yeah, you are doing or going to a classroom 4 to 6 hours of theory 3 to 4 hours of MCQ practice and around 1 to 2 hours of daily revision guys one more thing that I am doing regularly is every day at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. on zoom I am doing baby tests and mini tests with you You generate your own test, come and sit with me. Baby test is 40 question, 40 minute. Mini test is 80 question, 80 minute. You come and sit with me. You write the test, you build confidence. Do a little bit of revision. After test, you figure out what you got wrong. See the explanation. This is a very good habit for you to build your stamina. This is a very good habit for you to conquer fear of writing tests. And slowly you will get ready for 200 question, 200 minute test. So first thing which is very, very important is Make a timetable now for syllabus completion. Make a timetable now for syllabus completion. And that timetable, depending on how many chapters, divided by 26 weeks, you will figure out how many chapters you have to try and finish every week or every two weeks. And follow your coaching schedule. Now, let's come to the third thing, testing. So what I was telling you was, this is the new testing that we are starting. It is going to be called Ascend. You will find the details in video description. You can go and fill it up there, right? We are going to have 20 classroom tests, slow and steady climb to build confidence. So it starts on 13th October in classroom and online it starts on 6th October, right? First two tests are going to be with four week gap, 13th October to 10th November, 10th November to 8th December. Next three tests are going to be two weeks gap. 8th December to 22nd December, 22nd December to 5th January, and 5th January to 19th January, two weeks cap. And after that, it would be weekly, right? After that, one week cap. And more importantly, we are doing 11th first and then 12th. So all these black ones are 11th, 13th October, 10th November, 8th December, 5th January. In between, we have done one 12th. And after that, the orange ones are all 12th, right? So what we have done is, understand this. Initially, we are doing tests by breaking up each of 11th and 12th in four, four parts. Part 1 of 4, Part 2 of 4, Part 3 of 4, Part 4 of 4. So you'll see here, 13th October, Part 1 of 4. Then uh, second part of 11th. Then third part of 11th. Then fourth part of 11th. In between, we do one part of 12th as well on 22nd December. But after that, we will do second part on 2nd February, then 9th February, and fourth part on 23rd February. Then 19th and 26th, second hour, we have do, uh, broken up 11th into one part 11th and then second part 11th. So half 11th, half 11th, and then this is full 11th on 16th Feb. This is full 12th on 16th March, and after that, these pink ones are full syllabus tests. These pink ones are full syllabus tests, right? So this is how we are organized, guys. All the details in this brochure are there, right? We are giving 20 classroom tests, six online tests. Classroom one starts on 13th October, but online one, is available on 6 October. Initially, we are going to do classroom and online, build your confidence in class 11, slowly build it up. And after that, you will start getting into the groove of really enjoying it. 
slow and steady climb that is why we are calling it ascent right and this is the syllabus of all the classroom tests syllabus of online tests is also there and these are the centers we have started building up centers in south so in karnataka we already have four centers in bangalore we have center in mangalore mysuru kalaburgi belgaum right this is karnataka in kerala we have trivandrum kottayam palakkad kannur in uh, telangana we have hyderabad three centers in hyderabad in andhra pradesh we have vijayawada so and in tamil nadu we right now have coimbatore and chennai we will get more and more centers if you have a good center if you know a good coaching center with whom we can tie up in tamil nadu in tirunelveli in namakkal in selam if you uh, if you know a good center in uh, thrissur if you know a good center in arnakulam let us know and we will if you know a good center in telangana in andhra pradesh in any of the districts you can contact me my whatsapp number is given in video description and we will talk to the person and we will try and find us right now we have 200 centers all over the country we have a little less centers in south but we will slowly build them up because a lot of students have reached out to us and we will slowly build it up so student this is it i again want to remind you this again is given on need prep telegram channel link of telegram channel is in video description i had promised you that i will start recording regularly videos in english this test series is in pure english you can easily do it but my recommendation to all of you is please remember it is very very important it is very very important that you have a solid plan final 8 months a lot of it can be done lot of studies lot of improvement in your scores but you need to have a solid plan for it that is what i have explained in this video if you want me to conduct a zoom session in which you tell me in the comment section you can tell me how many chapters you have covered in class 11th if you have started with class 11th in physics chemistry and biology tell me how many chapters are remaining and by when do you want to finish the syllabus we will discuss it we will conduct a zoom session tell me in the comment section but important thing is this don't be fearful don't worry about what other people are doing make your own plan be focused on consistent studies daily 10 to 12 hours and keep writing regularly tests and you will build confidence to crack need next year if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section but launching now ascend classroom test series largely for dropout students who started with 11th and then will do 12th later all right students